We are recording. Transitioning in five, four, three, two, one. We're live. Good morning, Owasso. This is the Twins with Owasso Live, and this is the Morning Loop. It is currently 70 degrees outside. We got a high of 90 degrees today, so stay cool out there. It's not going to be as miserable as it was the last couple weeks, but like I said, it's it's going to be a little bit hotter today. All right, as far as events go this week, oh, oh we got a, don't have a whole lot going on compared to yesterday, but let me go ahead and uh, traffic update real quick. Uh, traffic is flowing pretty smooth and steady into Tulsa. The time is currently 9.07, so like I said, not a whole lot of, uh, if you're commuting into Tulsa right now, your commute's going to be pretty steady and fair. Traffic conditions aren't too bad. Uh, traffic coming back into Owasso is pretty steady as well, so uh, that's what your commute's looking like. As for events, uh, like I said, yesterday was that Zumba at the park, so hopefully you guys went out and had a good time doing that. But again, today we've got Bunko for a Cause. That supports the Aruba Clinic, so go out there and uh, support the Aruba Clinic by playing Bunko. Uh, Wednesday, you got uh, free classes at the library again, so go out and get uh, some free education uh, courtesy of the Owasso Public Library. And then uh, big news for Thursday, you got... The University of Tulsa playing Temple, Texas. Kickoff is at 6.30 p.m. So if you don't have a lot going on and you want to go watch some football, uh, like I said, I, I believe they're uh, playing at Temple. So just uh, tune in because they should be airing it on TV. So check out TU playing Temple. Friday, you got Owasso versus the undefeated Mustangs. So uh, kickoff for that is going to be at 7.30 p.m. Friday. So uh, good luck to the Rams. Rejoice will have kickoff against Sequoia at 7 p.m. So good luck, Rejoice. Hopefully you guys uh, can come back off. Hopefully Owasso and Rejoice can come back off of those losses and, uh, you know, hang tough with these uh, teams. So good luck to both of those guys. Um, and then Saturday we're going to have OU versus Iowa State. Iowa State who just beat the Cowboys. So, uh, like I said, they're not going to be pushovers. So uh, let's see how the Sooners are going to do because uh, – like I said, don't sleep on Iowa State. They are, they are not to be trifled with or not to be underestimated. So uh, no, they always seem to be a sleeper team they every all, yeah, year. But abs- absolutely, we'll see. Like I said, I'm, the way OU's been playing, I think it'll definitely be a close game because, like I said, OU's not looking terrible, but they're not just looking as good as they used to no, be. No, no, they're they're not looking really strong at all, in my opinion. Uh, I mean, that coach. At Iowa State has done nothing but like increase uh, that program. I mean, it, every year they seem to do a little better. They seem to have a, a, you know, some pretty good quarterbacks. They seem to, you know, they they just they got good receivers too. Uh, so, yeah, you know, just don't sleep on them. That coach has really built a, a strong program up there at Iowa State. So, uh, the Sooners, uh, I, I I imagine, I you know, this is just me speculating, but I think it's going to be a dogfight for them. I think because, so too. Uh, like I said, again, it's going to be – I think it's going to be a tough year for the Sooners, and I hate to, to, to toot that horn against them. You know, I want them to do well and be the strong team that they were. But, uh, you know, we they got gutted, you know, whenever what's-his-name left for uh, uh, oh, USC, yeah. you know, and then Venerables Lincoln came in. Lincoln Riley. Lincoln Riley gutted the team, took them to USC with them. But, I mean, the, the, the recruitment portal – is a big factor too now. So yes. the fact that they're paying players and stuff and pay players can make money off of endorsements and stuff. You know I mean? I swear I see that, that dang OU quarterback, his freaking commercials for that boat store all the time on YouTube, <laughs> man. I mean, it's crazy. But, I mean, good for yeah. them for being able to, to, to profit off of their name and stuff. So that's good. But like I said, it's just hopefully uh, that kind of money doesn't go to these guys' heads, you know, and they don't uh, – they just play the game. So – Best of luck to OU. Uh, hopefully uh, they roll on Iowa State, but I think it's going to be a dogfight regardless. Hopefully it'll be some good football this weekend. And OSU has a bye week, unfortunately, so, uh, you know, hopefully they they uh, practice get hard better, yeah. and get better because uh, OSU needs uh, – Coming off of a hard loss right yeah, now, that's so. for sure. Anyway, that's, uh, that's the morning loop. This was uh, the Twins with the morning loop, and you all have a wonderful day. We are signing off.